Hey guys, so today I will be showing you some lanyards and enamel pins that I got made from this company called GSJJ. Um, they reached out to me to try out some of their products in exchange for a review. Um, so this will be my review on how my products turned out with my design. So they have more than 20 years of experience in manufacturing and they also offer free shipping to the US and UK, which is great. Um, the customer service was excellent. I didn't really have to do much in terms of editing my designs for each product um, because their team did it for me. They also make a variety of other products like keychain stickers and many other things. So first I will be reviewing uh, this lanyard. So it has my bunny optometry designs on it. It is one inch wide and 36 inches long. And I'm very happy with the print quality as you can see here. The color is a little bit more saturated than I was hoping, but it's okay, it still looks very nice. So you can see here, this is the stitching style that I chose. So um, I didn't want the extra clasps or plastic pieces here. And then it has a clasp like that. You can really customize your lanyard to your liking. So you can pick um, just the lanyard only or um, you can include cards or badge holders. And I did the dye sublimated lanyard. I chose the 36 inch. Uh, for the stitch style, I chose the sewing one. Um, I didn't want all these extra things on it. And I chose the kind of the metal claw right here. And I didn't add a buckle. But these are all things that you can customize with your lanyard. So this is the PSD file I sent to them. And so I just made the bunnies on a different layer. But I just told them I just wanted them all arranged um, just vertically on the lanyard. And uh, these are the proofs that they sent back to me. So they, they were very quick about it. Um, this was the initial uh, proof that they sent me, which was already looking pretty good. But... I wanted to uh, change the color a bit and I wanted to add some little details in between so it didn't look as empty there. Um, so I sent them the um, changes that I wanted to be made and they sent me some other options. They're very responsive with their, with their editing team. So this one, as you can see, I wanted some of these bunnies to be a little bit bigger. So uh, they fixed that and this was my final proof for the lanyard. Next is this 1.25 inch heart enamel pin with the rubber backing. So I really liked how this turned out more than the lanyard almost. Um, it's really cute and the quality and the colors are very nice. This is what it looks like on the front. And this is what it looks like on the back with the rubber stop. I've seen a lot of videos and tutorials on how to prep your design for these pins, um, but I didn't have to do any of that. I just sent the rep my original PNG file um, that I used for my stickers and she basically did everything for me by converting all the colors and everything. So this is the file that I had sent them. Um, so this is just the PNG file I use for my stickers, so as you can see, um, all the shading is still on here and this is the proof that she gave me so they did everything basically um, and they uh, broke it down into the colors that they were using I wasn't sure how these blocks of gold would turn out here but in the end I ended up really like how it turned out so they all came individually packaged like this for the lanyards and in these little ziploc bags for the pins so it makes it easier to ship out to customers so then i don't have to uh, repackage these and it prevents any scratches from getting on the pins itself um but for the pins i made a little uh backing card on cardstock and i take the pin out and i just put it on here like this
and I put it in these um, little cellophane bags I got from Amazon. So it looks a little bit cuter. Overall, I'm very happy with the quality of the lanyard and pins that I got. I'm also very happy with their design team, which saved me actually a lot of time from um, going in and prepping the designs. So um, yeah, I highly recommend it and uh, I hope you like the video.